time. Yeah, they can yeah. see what goes wrong and what goes right and come to conclusions. But somebody's got to do it. And that's kind of what Salem's been doing. Exactly. But he also just has Snake as well. So I guess okay. he's going to be going Snake. So thank sure. goodness. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm this personally genuinely not a believer in Hero, so I'm happy to see this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this will be slightly less random, but uh, no less exciting. Mm -hmm. And there's going to be no shortage of explosions here, too. Watching Between watch Mecha Koopa and all of the grenades and C4s and Nikitas. We, we got a lot of schemes happening simultaneously. And it might be a train wreck or it might be glorious. We're going to find out. But in the meantime, uh, Salem's been the one taking so much damage. Yeah. Uh, it, it, Talking uh, about believers in characters, mm -hmm. I will freely admit that I was not a Bowser Jr. believer oh, yes. for quite a while in this game. Uh, I think there's a VOD of me saying on commentary at Don't Park on the Grass, which was like the first big Ultimate Tournament, like, do you think any characters are bad? And I was like, Bowser Jr. Like, that was the <laughs> only character I named. Did he? He, he did. He did. He did. and just got him. Okay. Yeah, but, but, uh, I have come full circle because <laughs> Trash Koopa God has shown us the light up here in Washington State. <laughs> A ranked player up here, uh, currently number eight on our latest PR, but he makes big plays, and he seems oh. to power up at bigger events. He's one of the people that feeds off crowds and energy and large stages. Well, uh, considering how loud Pacific Northwest has been all weekend, it's definitely a big help for him. Yes, uh, and we don't have we don't have tons of like. Super high level snakes in Washington. Oh, I love the shield poke, right? He recognizes that the between the Mecha Koopa and the Cannonball, Salem Shield probably wouldn't be able to deal with the clown car exploding yeah. right in front of his face. Yeah, uh, but such a huge part of this uh, fighting Bowser Jr. is understanding what Bowser Jr. wants and what is punishable. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have this matchup experience, it's going to be a rough time. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if Trash Koopa God takes this first game and Salem collects the data and makes the rest of the second Looking Whoa. for it and he <laughs> finds it, just swings twice and gets the air. Ah, he is also, if there's one thing Trash Koopa God is known for, TKG, it's those hammer setups. Oh he goes God. so aggressive with those and gets them in the most improbable spots. And the thing is, ordinarily that's the place of safety for Snake, right? He goes up to the skies, starts littering explosives and makes his way down, but it looks like Trash Koopa God wants to be up there too. Yeah, I control the skies okay. and I control the land. Wow. Okay, and Salem's okay. still in it. He covered himself with the explosion of the cart there, so Snake couldn't even get a punish. Get but it. that's super dead. Yeah. Uh, not No flare blade or double-edged dance needed. And uh, the one thing about Salem is when it comes to composure, he's one of the absolute best in the entire Smash community. It is so rare to see this man phased by anything. Yep. So even though he's at like, a big deficit and fighting a character that you don't really play a lot against in competitive play, he's not dropping a beat yet. Yep. Trash Koopa God has to be careful not to get antsy. Beautiful, though, and still alive. Great DI coming out from Salem. Salem cheating <laughs> death, but he can't <laughs> run forever. Yeah, Trash Koopa God taking game one with a hammer, and the crowd is erupting here. That is just the big lesson here is Trash Koopa God is totally fine using that ejector seat, right? Yep. That high recovery is not a free path to safety anymore. But the thing that's so scary is given how high of a percent Salem had reached, like if you tried to go really low for like a C4 recovery, you know, that would have blown him up. Yeah. His one option was to either go high or to like mix up and try to go to the ledge. But I know like Bowser Jr. is strong enough to be able to knock him out of Cypher if he tries to recover too low. And if he tries to air dodge the ledge, that's basically the only other option he has left. Yeah. Even that's something that a lot of play players these days know to look out for since it's been like nine months. Yes, and I think one of the things you pointed out uh, earlier really made a huge difference in this set. And that's the sky is not safe for Snake. Yeah. Uh, Trash Cube got exploited that multiple times. And Salem's gonna have to find a different way to recover. Because your mobility is kind of limited once you're in that C4, uh, excuse me, Cypher. In the meantime, though, going to Battlefield, having a lot of platforms to play with, potentially not only helping Snake's juggle game because he can cover these so well, you know, stick a C4 on one of them, mortar on another one, et cetera, yes. et cetera, but also maybe giving him a bit better options in terms of the landing as well. But that's assuming he can even come down from the bot like top bo bubble yeah. reticle. Yep, uh, this is uh, a juggler's paradise. Mm. And Salem is certainly capable of putting some explosives on these platforms and covering every escape route Trash Cooper God wants to take. Working so far. I mean, look at this. Already taking yes. the first stock, only at 29%. Very impressive Setting response up, yeah. to the first game. He's just set up a really nice obstacle horse, finding his way to the other side of the stage. And not only you know having the grenades, but also every now and then we see the Nikita come out to try to cover specific uh, holes in the zoning pattern. Yes. These platforms are at just the 
the most inconvenient height for Trash Koopa God's jump mix-ups uh, out of Clown Cart. Too. Salem just used Nikita to hit the Mecha Koopa and then run up and grab it because it was like a hit stun. <laughs> okay, I mean, that's such a specific answer, but I, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Precarious recovery there from Trash Koopa God, but he gets back on stage. He does have some distance to close here. Yeah, beautiful catch on the Mecha Koopa. Yes. But Salem it's not showing off his item play here. Yeah, I mean, as you'd expect from a snake. Yep. And, I mean, his item proficiency goes back far, because he was a Brawl ZSS. Yeah, and he, I mean, he also used Snake in that game as a secondary as well. Yep. Catching that. That was, because, like, he didn't react to that ejector. He knew the ejector was coming in response to the, the uh -huh. Kita facing Trash Koopa God, and from there was able to angle it up to catch it afterwards. Yep. And even though it's across the stage, that's going to kill because Bowser Jr., Wendy, excuse me, is out of the cart. Yes, and that makes her so much lighter. Yep. It's a cute detail from a design perspective, but probably not uh, Trash Cube God's favorite feature right now. Seeing Salem just like download the, like, the depth of it, right? Like right there, he yeah. saw the Koopa Kart coming at him. Not only did he drop the grenade, but he jumped up and tried to line up the back air to hit Wendy's face. Yeah. The one area that's not super armored on the cart. Very smart stuff from Salem. And this is an entirely different story than game one. Oh, wow. that's so different. I he just dropped two C4s. <laughs> One to blow up the Mecha Koopa, and then the second to kill Trash Koopa God. Oh, my God. Into a three stock on top of that. Wow. Just needed one game to understand the matchup. Yeah. Okay, so oh that was gosh. game one, TKG in firm control, although it was last stock, but uh, the, the momentum was clearly on his side. Mm. Game two, shout out. Yeah, Salem just... Caught such a good read on how uh, TKG likes approaching the neutral to the point where he didn't even find himself sent off, yeah. enough, right, to be taken advantage of when he's like on his way back down to the stage. If you don't get hit into the juggle state, you don't need to worry about your juggle yeah, state. Exactly, and that's a testament to Salem's adaptation as a top player. Mm -hmm. He's had so much bracket experience, played so many different types of people that he needed a little time to acquaint himself to how Trash Koopa God wanted to approach this, and then once he was ready, he let it all out. We got Smashville, small side blast ones like we said before. Less less room to set up a zoning trap, but there's still the platform to you know plant a C4, catch people underneath it or above it. Mm -hmm. And I mean, there's still just enough space to set up those grenades. And wow, that one being able to defend himself after that run up with grab. Yep. And uh, Salem, I think, maybe starting to understand some of the linearity in Bowser Jr.'s neutral. Mm -hmm. He has some mix-ups, but. Basically, when he's far away from you, he's going to do like one of two things. And Those I, things being Clown Cart or Mecha Koopa. He's also just taking advantage of how surprisingly good this uh, being right above uh, Wendy is. Oh! Yes. Oh, and the uh, falling up smash can't account for every explosion that's <laughs> coming your way all of the time. I got. I mean, I got hit by it. I totally forgot about the mark. I did too. <laughs> That's something Snake excels at as a character. Okay, good awareness from Salem, able to time that and avoid the explosion, but... Still alive! Doesn't dodge the hammer. How's he gonna fight his way back on his stage against the myriad of traps that Trash Koopa God's gonna try and put up? I, I like also that when Salem is falling now as part of his recovery, he's always falling right in front of the ledge, right? He yes, he's and... Wow, catching the roll in. All right, conditioning Salem a little bit there with the detailed at ledge, thinking I'm going to try and two-frame you here, mm. then covers the roll with the F-Smash. I, I love it when players just like display a completely different option than what they want. It's bluffing. Yes. All right, Trash Koopa God now has to recover against Akita, able to kind of fake out his momentum there and yeah. get past. Beautiful juke. And jumping right away. Oh, that's so scary. But I... Trash Koopa makes his way. I, I gotta say, I, it is so hard to keep track of where C4 is it, in this was, game. There's, I mean, it's that extra Mecha Koopa explosion that's throwing off my reaction. But there wow. we go, getting the pop off. Trash Koopa got taking the slightest of leads. Second swing in the Mecha Koopa, saving him from Snake's <laughs> trap. Did it happen again? It happened yeah. again. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this is what you call a loyal minion. <laughs> but finally, you know, can't avoid it forever. The uh, down throw having enough hits done there to just combo into the F tilt. But the crowd for Pacific Northwest popping off so loud. Perhaps the power up that uh, TKG needs to take this third game. It could be, although he uh, stuck in a very bad spot right now. This is a bit of a pickle. Yeah, Snake's maybe second to none when it comes oh to setting things up. Oh my god, up. that was so good. So you had the mortars coming yeah. up, right? And it looked like the setup that Salem had in mind is, 
I want you to block the mortar so I can run up and grab you, right? right. Trash Koopa God rolls past and is like, hey, he's looking for the grab. Now I can be safely running back to center stage. And I was like, no, there's a C4 there. I still cover that. <laughs> Nothing is safe. Yeah. I got Nothing everything. is safe. That's how it feels playing against Snake. Uh, That's how it feels playing against Salem. Against, I was just, yeah, you are correct. Salem, uh, the trap master. But I, you, I love like, just how much this game had slowed down. Even though it was on Smashville, and a slugfest of the stage. It took about a minute or so for the first stock to go away. Yep. But we have Salem with the 2-1 lead. Trash Koopa God getting himself some Super Mario Brothers movement music. Actually, a little bit of that. Yes, power up for his, one of uh, his favorite Omegas right here, the <laughs> Paper Mario stage. I love it when players go to non-traditional Battlefield FD. Mm. It's just a, a breath of fresh air for viewers, I think. Oh, I like the falling there. Gets the off course. He's not able to find much more, and so Salem still gets the rack on more and more percent. Yep. All right, these grenades are looking kind of difficult for Trash Koopa God to navigate right now. He's just, and like, Salem's just completely not afraid to just start chuck grenade after grenade. No, he's totally comfortable doing that. But good interception from TKG is going to put Salem in a bad spot Ooh, again. But I, Salem's ready for it this time. He's anticipating these ejections so nicely as the set goes on. <laughs> Expecting right. a jump in there, but Trash Koopa God mixing up. How he comes in, getting a little bit of a bait here and there. Yes, up tilt will kill. You know Salem's watching for it. You, you see how much more patient Trash Koopa God is with his approaches. He knows that so many of his uh, explosives, if they don't kill, put him in such a bad spot right above Salem. Yes. Oh, and Mecha Koopa is just going to, like, roll through the C4, or, uh, excuse me, Nikita there. Interesting priority on the projectiles. Uh, oh, my goodness, the second swing will do it. I think Salem was expecting a little bit more end lag there. I think so, but there is not a whole lot on that hammer swing. Gonna be able to wait out the Nikita, barely make it in time, and just barely dodge the grab. Wow! All right, oh, and grenade this lead is yeah. slowly building. I love that Tracker Wild just tossed the grenade immediately, yep. otherwise he would have died. TKG playing this really intelligently right now, but he is going to fall victim to a neutral error. He did manage to rack up 60% extra credit, though. I mean, honestly, that was great on Salem to recognize that that forward air was still just barely in neutral air yes. range. And we're starting to see some of the crazy damage output here that Salem has on deck with uh, just a couple of setups. He's already almost even the percents up. Are able to find the grab? Wow, the that, attack and straight up beating the Koopa car. That, I did not expect that to happen. That's uh, important. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's useful data for both players as the yeah. match goes on here. <laughs> All right, pulling the trigger on C4, but yeah. gonna fall victim to Mecha Koopa oh. and an SD from Salem, thinking he could go to the ledge with the air dodge. Yeah, just barely shy. I mean, that's again, that's kind of that forced error situation. Trash Koopa God was exerting so much pressure there. Salem had to thread that needle so carefully and was just yes. shy of it. I oh. got his, oh, okay, nice. Attacking the C, uh, Nikita to nullify the uh, hitbox there. Trash Koopa got able to fight his way back on his stage. And Salem is now in the Ooh. up air string. Good DI, Don getting caught by that back air. Trash Koopa got going for wow. some big stuff, but that trade is just what Salem needed. Perfect answer. Yeah, and perfect timing too. Yeah, I mean, he's at that 87% deficit. Still has quite a bit of distance to make up here. Ooh, oh, no okay. fear. Just grabbing the cart in the middle of the spin out. Meanwhile, Trash taking his time off stage, right? Waiting for these explosives that have to go off. Yep. All right, that's going to be a lot of shield pressure. Not a lot of cooldown. Not many characters can punish that F smash. Snake's dash attack is just the space breaker that he needs to get through, though. Mm -hmm. the mortar coming out. Going to cover Salem's up tilt there. Yeah, and like the up tilt also would have worked if uh, Trash Koopa tried to get in through a jump. Yep. All right, this is. Potentially, oh, and that, that was whooped. it. Just getting yep. the Nikita lined up and the stage spike. It's so hard to tech those. It really is. Right? It's so. But yeah. TKG putting on such an amazing show with his Wendy. That was a tight set. Yeah. It was three-one, but that felt like a game five.